we go. What's up, buddy? Welcome back to High Hooker Out Headquarters, the outdoor edition. Hey, not quite the. Uh, we're back down to regular production quality. <laughs> yeah. We uh, we're working with my buddy Matthias. Yep. He's got big fancy setup, and uh, so now we just have to make sure we properly articulate our words. Yeah. Yeah. So you might as well lead out. I know there's some crazy action going on there. Oh my god! Yeah. I, you know, like people are focused on the big matches, but there is a really hot match coming up. <laughs> really hot. Yeah. You know that um, Greg Gray versus uh, Matt Craig? You know These what guys going to do it? it? It's This is not like the, the most premier match in the world, but these guys are both really solid arm wrestlers. Like they've both won titles, I think. I think that they're both like, you know, pretty solid arm wrestlers that like the 176 185 kind of weight bracket but the most important thing is they want to fight each other yeah and i don't exactly know why but they seem to really hate each other it makes for good entertainment good matches yeah if you're not following uh just do a little search on uh greg gray or uh matt craig matt craig is the guy who on youtube he, like, I don't know, he, like, personally defended arm wrestling vigorously. Like, so, like, remember on the, the Half Thor video with, yeah, you know, and and this was, like, this was, like, the, the beginning when people were starting to kind of know about arm wrestling. And people would say stuff like, oh, he's using his body weight. Or, yeah. So Matt would, at every single one of these comments, fight all these people. He's a super passionate dude. Greg Gray, he's the guy, I mean, he's won Arnold. I just want to see. Are they gonna fight? I hope so. It's May first, anyways. But at least, you know, they're arm wrestling. It's gonna be cool. Yeah. You know, both got, you know, good set of balls on them, stepping up. Unlike Mike. Oh, moving right? on to Mike. Yeah. Man, like you know, that guy really upsets me, <laughs> for so many reasons. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, every single thing I do, this dude copies me. He's Michael Todd. You are the world champion. Conduct yourself. You don't need to follow. If I eat pancakes, you don't need to eat pancakes. If I go for a walk in the woods, you don't need to go for a walk in the woods. You do not have to do. Actually, Mike, the best hydration. Oh, the wind's picking up. I hope, hope the quality is good. I, you do not need. Actually, you need to start drinking out of the toilet. You're doing that? Yeah, I'm doing that now. Right out of the toilet, Mike. Yeah. You're First thing it. in the morning, before I go to bed. That sounds suspect. We'll and see. you know what else it sounds like? You're jealous of Mike. I am. Well, he's got he's got the legacy hammer. Yeah. He's the man. You know, I am a bit jealous. I just wish that I wish that he would make it easy for me, because. Like, I, I'd like... The right arm match is everything. Like, that's the match. Can like, I interject for one second? Yeah, yeah. Legacy Hammer sounds like a great porno name. <laughs> Legacy... Speak... We, we, we need to get back to that, but... Okay. Legacy Hammer. So go on with Mike. I mean, in the party arm and the whole bit. Like, you're going there, right? Or you have something else in mind. Well, now you've brought up this... Marcus. Marcus Ask in Germany. There's your next. Uh, there's your next title. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know? Did you know that we have porn producers in the arm wrestling scene? I do now. Yeah. German dude. Yeah. Marcus Ask makes. Uh, he wants to do arm wrestling porn. Yeah. Legacy Hammer. Huh. There you go. Uh, well, I wouldn't be interested in anything like that. My information will not be linked. To the well, you of this. just came up with it. So mm. yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, so Mike won't pull me left, which makes it, you know, pain in the ass, because I would love to, yeah, you feel that? Uh, what do you say, 7 out of 10? I don't know, man. 6 out of 10? It's good, right? Like, how really good, good is it? Like, are you making punks of everyone who tries your left hand right now? Mike's scared for a reason, right? The left. I mean, I shouldn't say he's scared. He's focused on the right. I get it. And he's not left-hand arm wrestler, but you want you want some action. I haven't trained my left. I know. 
in like a year and a half. And it's fresh like tulips in the tulips springtime, Tulips in the right? springtime, yeah. And you want a match. You want a match. I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd like a match. Uh, I. It would be great if it was Mike just because it would make it easy. Like, we'd go right and then we could go left afterwards. But, yeah, he doesn't. He's too scared of losing. So, I understand that. Like, I understand where his psychology is. He doesn't. Yeah. So, I'm just wondering who. Who can I get in Dubai? Anybody out there? Stepping up. I, like, I don't know what we can make happen. I don't know if we can get you on the card, but when I'm in Dubai, I feel like it, it would be a missed opportunity if I didn't put this thing on the table against somebody. Um, and like I said, it's no training. This is all very experimental stuff, but I do believe it's a pretty solid arm, like really solid. Um... Speaking of Dubai, oh, did you know Le Levon picked me to win? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, interesting. Yeah, it was weird, right? Because Because yeah. he's trained with Michael. Yeah, I don't know if, whether he thinks Michael's a punk or, like, what's up with that, do you think? Like, what's the psycho? Like, why would he pick me to win? Maybe because he thinks he can beat me and he... I think so. I think that's probably true. I know where you're going with this. Uh, he does not want to go against Michael. Michael's got a better chance of beating him than, than you do probably. Um, so he's hoping he's pushing that maybe good, not left good energy that good yeah. Georgian energy I think my so. way. Because if you beat Michael, he won't ever have to go Michael. Right. Because Mike will be knocked down a few pegs. Yeah. Not, not near the upper tier. I'm guessing. Well, if if I beat Michael, I mean, where does that put him? Like fifth. Well, number two in the world then clearly because <laughs> you'll be number one. <laughs> you'll tell everyone you're number one. Clearly, clearly. Um, you got Schoolboy or Larry? I would love to see Larry do it. I don't think he, I don't think he probably can. I would love to have seen Larry take a, a smaller bite. Somebody more, his experience level, I think. Yeah. Because Schoolboy, clearly, even though he's not, um, he's still got a lot of experience for what, he, what he's he doing right now. He's got a ton of experience. Yeah, he's got a lot of experience. He doesn't have a lot of exposure other than the internet, like with large tournaments and such. But he's very, oh, very experienced. He's got a ton of... Schoolboy's pulled everywhere. Okay. Come on, man. All right. Well, Has he pulled uh, Arm Melter? No. Joe Gould? No, he hasn't done that. But he just... I mean, he's been Sorry. pulling big tournaments all around the world. Okay. I'm just saying, I, I wish Larry had to pick some of his own... Uh, maybe his own experience. But I hope Larry does well. I suspect Schoolboy should probably uh, win that match. you got to think... He's still the favorite. Yes. Heavily. Yeah. Like I think everybody wants to see Larry do good, but uh, you gotta, you have to believe that Schoolboy is still heavy favorite. Yes. Yeah. Um, kind of like how Michael's the heavy favorite going into this. Right. Somewhat. I think I got more of a chance than Larry. <laughs> I love you, Larry. I love you, but. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, maybe there'll be two surprises that day. Oh. Speaking, of, you know, speaking of a, an opponent for Larry, mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, in this training camp because of COVID and me not being able to get around much, I focused a lot on the guys in Ontario, and you know, guys like Pork Chop, Rick Heidelbreck, uh, Evan. And, you know, there was a lot of discussion about who was number two. And there was a guy that I left out of that conversation because, you know, I never know exactly where he is. You know, sometimes he's hot. Literally. Yeah. You know, there's a guy for the Legacy Hammer. Yes. <laughs> Ian Carnegie might really be the number two guy uh, in Ontario for sure. And he would do point. Yeah, he, I think he does. I think Ian's, Ian's rocking that stuff all the time. But uh, Ian, now when you start to talk about a match for Larry, mm -hmm. uh, I do think that Ian's still like too much for Larry. But I don't know if, do you know that Ian actually has an older brother? Do you know about this? <laughs> and I think that this guy would be a perfect match for Larry. Uh, 
I think he's from Greece. There's been a review done on him on... Um, Big Laws did a review on him. I always get his name wrong, but the dude is super internet famous. Uh, Kryakos Grizzly. Yeah. That guy. That guy and Ian are actually brothers. I don't know if you guys know this. Look up Ian Carnegie. Look up Kryakos Grizzly and tell me they're not brothers. Uh, but... That's a guy I would love to see get into arm wrestling. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That would be nice to get those guys involved. So, I mean, that's about uh, that's about what we got going on today. I think so. And pancakes. We had like a stack of them just now. Yeah. Normally, I'm eating during these things, but <laughs> I've just been eating. My training, like. Getting ready, like I'm, I'm doing a lot of sleeping and a lot of eating. That's, that's the <laughs> daily pancakes. That's, that's really, I'm just trying to show up as healthy as I can be. Uh, I think that that's going to be the key for me, just to have as much inflammation gone and as energized and loaded up and as rested as I can be. So. Oh, happy birthday. Day, ah. day late, but happy it, birthday. It's funny. Um... I remember when I was young, and I remember when my dad turned 44, and they and he, and he said, 44 is the peak of a man's life. You're past that. Yeah, I'm 46 now. Oh. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like... You must have got a lot of phone calls wishing you happy birthday and such. Uh, most of the phone calls I've been getting lately... Are actually from concerned close friends of mine huh. yeah saying that they're worried about my heart, saying, what heart? right like clearly they don't know me that well saying uh, you know worried about how fast I'm gaining weight thinking like my mom called me and she's oh, like no. yeah my mom oh, no. is like Devin you need to lose weight and Jody is like, Devin, you're fat. You're fat, and you need to lose weight. Pretty much everybody is telling me I need to lose weight, and I will lose weight starting in June. Those are nice phone calls to get, though. Yeah, you know, just lest you know, people care about you. But um, mission focused, mission before self, sure. right? That's yeah. what they say. Mission before self. This mission requires me. To be messed. You barely fit on the camera. It's too bad when the arm measurements don't change and it's all just gut and face. Yeah, I was you reading know? again, not maybe a couple of days ago, about your 17 and a half inch arms. And uh, doesn't nothing ever changes there, huh? Not much. Yeah. Not much. A, a, little, a little bit. My right grew a little bit. Yeah. But, yeah, it's mostly just... Did you see my head grew two inches? Two inch, two inch head gains. Yeah, that's for real. I don't know how. What do you mean for real? Yeah. So, Juji. Okay, so we were talking about like the real key to knowing if you're a good arm wrestler is how big your your skeleton is, and that's easily measured by your skull, right? Okay. Measure a guy's skull, you can kind of quickly assess his bone structure. All right. All right. So we did this at uh, WAL 506, and they measured everybody's head. Corey West had, like, a 28-inch head or something. We were like, all hail prime ruler, Corey West. Like, his head was, like, five inches bigger than everybody else's in the room. But, um, but uh, in that video, I measured 23 inches. And now, yeah. I'm, like, 25 and a quarter. Is it because your hair is longer? Well, I mean... Is that two inches? Is this little bit of hair two inches? Probably not. No. Yeah, head gain's going on. That might be the that might be the difference. I'm gonna be so strong, seriously. Like I know there's all this talk, blah blah blah. Michael's so good. Yeah, I'm gonna wreck him, seriously. <laughs> I am gonna wreck him. I'm like, I get these little flashes of confidence. They go away again. But I'm just hoping that one of those flashes, one of those blips, hits me. So we were just listening to Michael when, when uh, 
you were making the pancakes. Yeah. And he was saying he wants to make it uneventful and, and boring, and he wants to like crush you like three zero four zero five zero hundred whatever it was zero. Yeah. Do you have anything in well, reply to that? I mean, Mike's real good. He's real good. Maybe he will crush me. Maybe he's gonna crush me. Maybe he'll flash me. I hope. I hope that's how it goes. I hope it's just. One, Easy two, day. three, four, hey, and check. I get to go home. See you later. There's no wars. There's no wear and tear on my arm. Man. I'll tell you, we're going to know real quick. We're going to know really fast. I think uh, I think as soon as they put those hands together, it's going to get really serious really quick. I think it's going to be the biggest match of my life. That's what I think. Biggest match of my life, and... Legacy. Well, I plan on winning, so... Yeah. We'll see. What do we got? Like four and a bit weeks. It's not even five weeks anymore. No. Stay strong, everybody.